bridge has been here from 1820. On one side, it's St. James. On the other side, it's Hanover. In June 1979, the worst floods that Jamaica has seen, the floods came above the bridge. Wagwan, everybody. Today, on one side is St. James, on the other side is Hanover. We're here to check out a little shop that have fried chicken, them have stew pork, them have fried fish, this slice for them escovitch, for them the brown stew, them have rafting, them have everything. This is Leeti Square. Man just walk past and you can smell that was definitely curry goat. Smell of that goat smell local. People here rafting. Rafting is probably the most, the number one excursion in Jamaica and one of the most popular. It started by putting bananas on the rafts to send them down to the river to meet the ships in the sea. So that's how rafting started and then somebody had a brilliant idea and said, oh, we can put people on it, we can transport people on a beautiful scenic tour of Jamaican rivers and river rafting started. Behind me is this bridge that has been here from 1820. On one side it's St. James, on the other side it's Hanover. The Great River separating two parishes, Hanover and also St. James. They said that it was built by the Spanish. The Spanish were driven out in 1655, but since 1820 this bridge has stood the test of time, have stood the June floods. The floods came above the bridge and the water just pushed down. One of the worst floods that Jamaica has seen. I think it was June 1976 is when the June floods occurred. From 1820 until now in the 2000s, it still stands, still stands strong. And it's a wonder we can't make roads and stuff like this bridge so that they can't stand the test of time anymore. This was built by slaves. So you can imagine how painstaking it was, those bricks, those heavy bricks to bring them up back in 1820. Square extremely active. There are people all around us gathered in the square. There are shops, there's food stalls. So we're heading now to go check out K. K sells anything you want and anything your heart would desire when it comes to Jamaican food right here in the square. She has a cook shop. So we're heading to go check out K's, K's cook shop now. Miss K, how you do? All right, so we're preparing rice and peas here. Wow, the smell yeah. of that, that smell like real natural coconut milk. And oh yes it is. You can tell the sweetness of it already and that scotch bonnet pepper in there. So I'm just adding a little mixed seasoning, garlic powder, all purpose with pimento grains and pepper. Wow, she's giving us a the recipe, extra the smell of that. The pimento grains, that spice of Jamaica the scotch bonnet pepper and the natural seasoning that's in there, the aroma of that coming up already. And I taste to make sure it's sweet. Good to go. Yep. I still me tell you that one. So Lisa is serving stew pork over there. So this is your stew pork that you cook down in gravy, tender. So it was marinated with um with marination, um consists of scallions, onions, garlic, ginger, pimento. Have to have the ginger on the pork. Yep. So ginger and pimento is a must. Every day you have the is a different menu. 
Well, I try to incorporate. Like, if I do like, um, like for today, I am doing fried chicken and sweet and sour chicken. So I try to have more than one chicken. Yeah. For the day. So if I, yesterday I did um some hot and spicy wings along with fried chicken. All right. So this is my fried chicken. I fried it in a not a deep fryer, but a dutch pot. Well, that's the way. Old time to wing. Go. Yeah, man. So you get the nice yes. crisp on it. Right. And the flavor of the pot. The old time way. So I season my flour with a little, you know, mixed seasoning. A little tubs of baking powder just to balance just it off. Yeah. Yeah. So I can get that nice, cripsy, not We don't want to say crisp, cripsy, me like that. Cripsy. <laughs> cripsy. Yeah. It's nice and cripsy. Yeah, And man. it, it crips last, so when them take it out with the box, you know, just soggy up right, and thing right away. Right, soggy up. Just a jack you know, I overcrowded the pot because guess what? When I overcrowd it, put too much in there, then it drop the temperature. Absolutely. So the it, crisp in this day, last. Yeah, man. They just so once you off. get those bubbles, you know that your temperature is right. There's right, no thermometer right. or anything on this. This is just how Jamaican cooking is and is supposed to be. Dutch pot, fire, seasoning, meat, stove. You can smell, I mean, kitchen. Can't take the heat get out of the kitchen, but the smell, the seasoning on the flour. Once it touches the oil, the seasoning on the flour, you start to get that smell again. So you know it's seasoned on the outside, seasoned on the inside, and crispy when it comes out of the pot. Or crispy. some peas if you yeah, realize man. there wasn't any peas bimbo my flower the so the peas heading into the pot right now right. i'm just going to make it boil for maybe about the next um five or ten minutes to get the flavor of the coconut that's what you're adding into the peas right now before you add the rice in right because there wasn't any peas the peas did not cook in this mm -hmm. pot so i've been cooking the peas so yeah. in the meantime I boil the coconut milk. So you pressure the peas? Yeah. Get it tender. So in the meantime, yeah. And boil the coconut milk so as right. one done, the other one goes on. Yeah, ready. You have some pineapple over here and it's grated. That's what you're putting into the sweet and sour. Well, it's not. It's not really great that I just um, remove the eyes. Oh, okay. It. So I remove it and then I would dice it. So, dice it up for the sweet yeah. and sour. So I would do fine dices. Fine dices. Nice skills. I'll point the smell of that yeah. ginger. That ginger is wow. Right now, some drinks me feel for the pine and ginger. With yeah, the smell. so I dice it like, you know, to this size. Mm -hmm. So every serving of sweet and sour, get you a get little a little bit. pineapple. And then I would grate the ginger to add to it. Okay. And you know, sweet pepper give your pot one little flavor there. And then Especially nice when it goes with some something. So dice the sweet pepper. So I dice sweet pepper, um, the pineapple, a bit of carrot, and some onions. So how long you been cooking? Um, I started cooking well from a tender age. I love cooking, you know. But professionally, I started maybe about ten years now. About 10 years now. Oh, that so, ground straight into yeah, the pot. So this is the sweet pot. and sour, right? Mm, so you see every smell. spoon, wow. you get some pineapple, you get some carrots, you get some onions, and you get a little bit of... I tell you, my nostrils. You know, all the little vegetables that, that are That is a flavor of bam just happening. You have that tangy acidity of the sweet and sour sauce coming off, but the sweetness of that pine and the romantic ginger. Yep. More 
should mix the more of that flavor of coconut milk the fresh thyme and seasoning just comes out and exhumes the pot This is for the steam fish, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so we season them, let them go and marinate for a little bit. Marinate and then this is a steam fish that you're creating. Yes. And you do them done to order fresh right. like that. Yes, so I do it done to order. So make sure they prepare the seasoning for it. And then down into the I guess you know, it is a Dutch pot again, I'm gonna put this on there. Well what we call a frying pot, a small skillet, what we call a frying pot. Frying pot. Yeah, so that's what we actually they go. Saute the season them in now. Okay, so you saute it first and then uh, with a little bit of butter, some people yeah, don't so take you bring the out butter. The aromatics. So. Right. So some people don't take the butter. So I'll just toss it over for a little bit. Add a little um water. So we actually use coconut from the tree. Straight for I realize that that's what you use yeah. for everything. Yeah. Real coconut. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have skills there, chef. Hub. Yeah, we can't do it. And still yeah. done and everything to go in there as well. Yeah. Steaming fish, they will add a curry or cock soup. Yeah. For the color, I just use pumpkin. I love that. Natural, sweet. You're getting all of that off of the pumpkin. So you give it the body. So if you buy um, fish and it, and it just, the sauce that is in it thick, because yeah. you use cornstarch. I use my vegetables. No, we, we, use, we use the pumpkin, thickening it up. No problem. Excuse me. Sorry. And see right, so this, uh, this is for your coconut milk right now. Fresh. For the, for live the, direct and fresh. For the fish. Garlic is a must, right? Garlic is definitely a must, but yes. you're cutting up all of that seasoning. So much different variations to create, not too complex, but to create just the right balance for that fish. That steamed fish is something that we Jamaicans take pride in. And the man them love it because you don't know anything what steam down right, good from the back so to put all of those that things that don't it's cook going and to just be added in here with that coconut milk good old scotch bonnet half of the bonnet as well and you added the garlic already it's just a mountain of seasoning not just seasoning but veg that went on to these three fish so you know it's going to be well seasoned have that oh yes are they, are they pimenta there? yeah Right, so Jamaica crack that up and that's more aromatics that you're putting into it. So you have fresh aromatics, you have wow, dice it right on. Yeah. Those crap. So nothing's waste. Everything is, you know, you know, you do the steam fish, you'd have to pick these out. So normally just um no, you bring them to a little powder, eh? So nothing's waste. And I appreciate that you don't use the powder itself, you actually Grind yeah, it down or cut it right down yep. until you get the consistency that you want. And the fresh aromatics from the scallion, or scallion as people like to say, the scallion. scallion, and the thyme. Those fresh ingredients going into that fish and the marination that's been happening with it. So just add that little butter to it and then sweat down the yeah, so. seasoning. So I'm going to add all this to the little butter here now and saute it for maybe about one. Just a quick saute, yeah. let it sweat and some of that sweetness in there, the sugars and everything just pop it up. Pop it so, up, bring yeah. it up right away. Wow. The colors, the textures, the flavors, the smell.
So just for a short while, okay? You don't want to burn, short right. flavor a little bit, so. The smell okay, so starts to this to now, we're going to add some blend wow. coconut milk, all right? Ooh. From straight from the blender, you can see it in there. That's not powdered coconut milk. That's right off the trees and into the blender. So that natural flavor, that beautiful, sweet, almost like run down. Yeah. Oh, it's a bigger pot, you know. You're going to bring all of this to a boil now? Yeah, so I'm going to make it boil for Before a Before you add the fish in? Yes. Okay, so basically well, getting the fish take about into. maybe about five to ten minutes to cook. So we don't want to add it with this, not this tender just 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 for um seasoning the coconut milk. I'll then it for a little bit. Ah, uh, God, you yeah. just said it right already. I talked to me right there. And then now we're gonna immerse the fish into this just sauce let it there. Soak that and nice beef. sauce there, yeah. Nice lean snapper. And you just Let all that I mean, set them head and tail because it's easier to take them out so you know when they cook and get soft right yeah too big for me wow. yes, you know. I'm sorry then mm -hmm. I'm just going to cover them with the little bit under the vegetables. That is rich. That sauce looks rich and amazing. You hit the spot. Eh? Almost. Well, not quite. Maybe I try to get my hand ready for Put on. All right. Try to get all the tears. I am going to add. I already added garlic to it. Yeah. But I always like keep the flavor it up. A little yeah. Bit. Love no garlic. Me too. Oh, garlic and onion. Yes. Yeah, so good with that. Little garlic powder too. This now. And some good old maggi all purpose. That's a national seasoning in Jamaica. Maggi yeah, all man. purpose. Maggi all purpose. Two with thing, that's so. So if somebody coming up here, they can call and order. Yeah, man. In advance, you have a number. Yep. Yes, I do. Call. So it's four zero three ten fifty seven. Four zero three ten fifty seven. I'll put it in the description and the link. Yes. So the location where you can come find K. Because trust me, people travel. But food that don't look half as good as this. I'm going to say, act you. All right, now. Come, Matthew. Yes, man. That's it. A little bit more. Maggie. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my God. Mm -mm. So I'm just gonna, gonna tap it up with a no, little no, bit more. Just lock off the stove, lock off the camera. Come, come, come. Done, 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 done. That's all. Now, my daughter, you look like you want me to get the sun with that steam fish. <laughs> that is it. Go on for it now. All right, now. So, we're just gonna make this cook for about five minutes more. Yeah, the fish sticks, as you yes. said, don't take too long to cook. Not too long. You don't want it to get too soggy where it turns into fish tea and break away into the pot. And then the flesh actually become too chewy, like nearly tastes like chicken. Yeah. You want it to steam, not cook. Absolutely. Not fully, you understand, not fully cook. Absolutely. Right. Perfect way of saying it. Steam, not cooked down, or boiled. Right, not boiled, right. So about five minutes more and we're good, right? This good stuff. to go. Last thing. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, no, no. Yeah, last thing. You know, say, you may like when you okra. Yeah, man, the okra is strong up the bank. No, I'm not going to like it when you cook out. Yeah. Hey, fish actually cooking it. Should have been added already.
So in the corner of the cook shop and getting into this, this is the food, the ultimate Jamaican box food with a sample of everything. You have the stew pork, oxtail, fried chicken, sweet and sour chicken, macaroni, veg, rice and peas cooked with natural coconut milk. This is the sweet and sour chicken. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. Tangy, sweet, fried chicken. They have some crisp on it. But that sauce, the flavor that she gets into the sauce, better than a lot of Chinese food places that I've had it. Sweet and sour chicken, rice and peas. Seasoning, very well seasoned. The natural sweetness of the coconut milk really brings out that flavor in it and the spices and the veg that you put in there, not in the veg. Cook down the onions, the scallion, the thyme, all of that flavor coming out in the rice and peas. And once you mix it up with the gravy, you know you have to mix that oxtail gravy into it or even the stew pork gravy, really, really pronounced. Mm. Wow. Okay, we'll get done. Mm. Okay, we'll get done. Okay. Come on. Rice is so sweet. Not sweet like sugar sweet, but that coconut milk. The natural sugars from the coconut milk. Mm. It's fluffy, it's tender, it's flaky, not sticky or mushy or moist. Really well cooked. It's still pork. Mm. Got right into that, that ribs with a little grizzle. Oh. You talked about how marinated it was. It has been marinated. You can taste the seasoning that soaked into it. Right down to even the bone that I get in. You chew into that bone or that cartilage, the crunch. Have seasoning, have spice. Dense flavor coming off of everything. Look at that. Mm. Well, right off the bone, that's good. Mm -hmm. Sweet, seasoned, delicate. The green is right there. And... Right, chicken. Mm. Very nice. Gummy, nice. Very gummy. So the thing about the food. Food good man. Food good. Food nice. Yeah, say one. This man don't usually finish anything. You can see from my, my box. Uh, Are you box it off, I know. I know From you box it off. And uh I'm still good. One of the best. Oh, that scale was lovely. Yeah. Soft juice of the chicken. Don't know who they put on. Eat the sweet and sour chicken. You know, you can eat the Chinese I can't tell you that that is what they get me to. Like, seriously, I said it. And I can't tell you, this sweet and sour chicken better than no Chinese place. Probably all of the Chinese so places. Ginger, ginger it have everything in there. You taste the ginger. ginger. Everything that she showed us. The pineapple and everything that was in there. I mean, there, I don't taste a Chinese food. Chinese food. Pasta. That bad like that. Pasta. Pretty sure I'm going to enjoy this. Alright, so almost done here now. This is the steam fish. I want it done, done, That's done. been cooked down in that coconut milk. Mm, the I to... coconut milk I the vegetables and just sauteed for a little bit. Mm -hmm. You want black buster right there, so not, you know. Look like she did it today. It's one of the best steam fish I ever had on this. And it takes coming to a riverside place to have one better steam fish and enough place that on the seaside. The flavors, the complexity of it, everything that's gone into it just encases it, wraps around it, and brings out beautiful flavors, beautiful colors, beautiful harmony of the meat, of the textures of just veg, the carrots, the okra and everything that is in there just steamed down with the coconut milk, the sweetness of that. It's so not very 
powerful or highly sweet from like sugar but the natural sweetness of that coconut milk once it's cooked down with the pumpkin itself brings out the natural sugars wraps the fish around and just unbelievable mm. and get her no, full, full, full ripe scotch bonnet but you're getting that flavor but not the heat the flavor of the scotch bonnet in there that not overpowering mentor that has gone in there all of those aromas those those flavors can become overpowering but it really just nice mellow give you that real nice texture real nice flavor and just hums like a hummingbird in your mouth the beautiful texture beautiful flavors acidity you have all the main ingredients of what you want when it comes to food it just really is quite beautiful mm. already plug in but the fan to make me use it and not overcooked okay. fried fish brown stew fish sweet and sour chicken fried chicken spicy wings you name it i'll cook it and it we said curry kong steam fish Curry kong, a kong season now. Whoa. Yeah, man. I have that, kong here. All right. Oh, we got no, man. Part two coming soon. <laughs> so make sure you come check this place out. If you're coming up to the leafy side, on the oh, Hanover okay. side, there is yummy in my tummy. This place okay, is just okay. a treasure. Yeah. Beautiful food, beautiful people. Oh. Really, yeah, really just, good uh, cooking. Uh, natural cooking, natural yeah. flavors. Authentic mm. Jamaican flavor. Scotch bun. Italian, it just goes on, the pots never stop, the fire goes on, key is in the kitchen. If you want anything, I'll put a link in the description. Thank you to her, to everybody up here. Food was amazing. Check it out.